Hi, I'm Lee and I'm back with another sizzling sample. Welcome back. Now before going to this whiskey, I would like to remind you, if you haven't done so already, is to hit that subscribe and like button. By doing so, it will help my channel grow, thanks to everyone that has done so already. And if you want to support my channel even further, make sure you check out my Patreon page. Um, I'll drop links um, in the description below, as well as my other social media channels. So on to this whiskey. Today I'm looking at the Wolfburn Morbon. It's a sample that has been kindly sent to me by Nick Gascoigne. So, um, so this whiskey itself, now the, <clears throat> the Wolfburn distillery, it's the most northerly distillery on the mainland UK. It was, um, that, that title did go to Oak Pulteney until the Wolfburn Distillery came along, right up on the north coast of the um, Scottish Highlands. Now the Morven, <coughs> it is bottled at 46% and it averages around about 46 pounds and 63 pence for a full 70 um, centiliter bottle. It's a natural color and um, is non-chill filtered and it's matured in ex bourbon casks. So, shall we check out the nose? Okay, so it starts off really nice, light and fresh. Um, there's a, a, a nice gentle peat and smokiness there. Um, there's a little bit of salt there as well, which will come from the coast. Now smelling this, I can imagine myself walking along the, um, the, the Scottish Highland cliff faces right on the edge and just smelling that fresh, light sea breeze um, as I'm nosing this and as well as all, you know, the, the grass and the heather that's there as well. There is some vanilla there as well, um, maybe a little bit of dried fruits, orchard fruits as well. So um, I'm getting some green apple peel, um, as well as a very, very, very light hint of orange right at the end. Slanger. Okay, immediately, get a really nice sweetness at the start. I'm getting some vanilla, honey, and caramel as well. <clears throat> but then it's very, a slight hint there's of, of a medicinal note as well, very, very slightly. Now, if you haven't, um, sorry, if you've tried the Lagavulin 16, which I'm hoping to review soon, very a, a small medicinal note just like the the, the the lager 16 but not quite as intense as that very very light which was quite surprising because there was no medicine medicinal notes noted on the the, the, the Wolfburn distillery website so I'm quite quite surprised about that try again Okay, so now once you get 
past that sweet and medicinal note, the day starts to fade and then the smoke starts to come to the front. And then it becomes quite dry um, on the palate. I'm getting, still getting a little bit of apple, green apple, um, a tiny bit of salt there. And then there's some cinnamon spice and pepper spice as well. Okay, so this has a medium finish, not quite long, um, but it's a nice, decent medium finish. <clears throat> the peat and smoke is quite dominant, but not over too, too overpowering. And the medicinal notes from the palette have reappeared. So they were there quite early on in the palette, palette and then it disappears with a spice. But they've come back and it's really nice and pleasant. Um, there is a little bit of spice there still, I'm getting pepper spice. The cinnamon's not quite there now, that's faded. But that's been replaced by a little bit of ginger um, on the finish, which I wasn't getting on the palette. Okay, this is a really, really nice dram and it's warm and comforting. Now, it's light, it's lightly peated and if you're just getting into peat, this would be a, this would be a great starter um, if, you, if you haven't had a peat, peated whiskey before. And also if you're just being introduced and you don't want to quite get onto the typical Isla um, mid whiskies, I think this would be a great choice to go for. Now, if I was to ever go walking in the hills of the Scottish Highlands and take a dram with me um, whilst I'm out walking, this would be one that I would potentially take. It will keep you, keep you warm, um, especially in the cold, windy climate there. And Wolfburn have done really well with this and I would really like to explore some more of their, um, their bottlings. Now I'm really, really close to giving this a red sizzling sample, but it's the price that is stopping me from doing so. For a non-age statement whiskey, for this I would maximum I would probably pay would be £40. And you're looking at full price to be paying between 40 and 50 depending where you look. But at the time of recording, <clears throat> the Whiskey Exchange is currently out of stock. However, um, Hard to Find Whiskey currently have this for £44.95. Um, it's a really good whiskey company out of stock as well. And the Little Whiskey Shop have it in stock for £49.50. Master and Malt are out of stock. Um, let's have a look. House of Malt currently have this for $39.99. And lastly, Amazon is for £44.09. But on that basis, it's not quite a red score, but I'm gonna give it a hot orange score. Um, I really do, do really like this. Um, would you pay um, a similar amount um, to me or would you be prepared to pay the higher? Let me know in the comments. Um, so thanks for watching guys. As usual, don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, hit that bell notification icon and if you want to support me further, check out my Patreon channel as well as my other social media channels. So thanks for watching. Take care guys and slide check.